Hello students, this is Ms. Mason here and today we're going to talk about the scientific method and the engineering design process. So the scientific method is really just a guideline that is used to answer a question or solve a problem. It's really a lot of common sense. But you're really looking at a relationship between two variables. You're looking at the relationship between cause and effect. And it's a way of studying that relationship. So generally, the first thing you do is make observations. Observations are information you get from your senses. What are your senses? Like of sight, taste, hearing, all right? Those are examples. So you're going to just look at this. You should just look at the whole screen, take it all in. And I want you to write down observations. Right now, this you see, or witness, that you experience. Now go. Okay, now, you can stop the video anytime, you can pause it whenever you want. I want you to look at those observations and we're going to interpret them. So now that you have your observations, we're going to make inferences. So inferences are interpretations of your evidence, of your observations. So now, I want you to go back and look at the observations you made. And I want you to explain them, interpret them. Okay, and then pause and pause the video. Because I'm gonna go on. So you can stop the video anytime. Make inferences. I'm going to just show you this painting I made. Actually, I won a contest, which I'm really excited about. Uh, not to be bragging, but this was a contest I entered in explore.org which is a website where they post live cams of nature. All right, so a lot of animals are on these live cams, so in real time you can witness the natural world. And I've been watching this one live cam where it posts the bears, the brown bears in Alaska. So they're in what, uh, a park called Katmai Park, National Park in Alaska. And they congregate every year to eat salmon because salmon migrate. They go up the river to lay their eggs. It's interesting. Uh, salmon, wherever they hatch, wherever, in other words, where they're born, they return to that same place to lay their eggs. So they, once, uh, when they hatch, they hatch in a river, which is fresh water. And then they can actually go to the ocean, salt water but they return back up the river to lay their eggs. And there are a lot of bears on this live cam, and one of the bears that a lot of people are familiar with, his name is Otis, and he's like a 25-year-old brown bear that he's uh, pretty popular on the camera, so I made a painting about him in a contest, and here he is. So, what you're going to do now is you're going to go to this webcam, this web of this uh, of Brooks Falls in Katmai National Park in Alaska. So you're gonna watch it for five minutes and you're going to write down as many observations as you can. All right? And then after that, you're going to make inferences from those observations. So I would have a, if you uh, take a, on a sheet of paper, or you can do this online, a Google Doc, could title it observation practice one column observation so you can title it observations versus inferences and one column is going to be observations and the other column is going to be inferences so 
that is your challenge. So you're going to click the link and enjoy watching a live stream.